welcome to Via Catholica Channel, your Catholic way to God. During Mass or other religious ceremonies, have you ever looked at the priest and asked yourself, why does Father wear vests with different colors, such as purple, white, green, and red? When do they wear that specific color, and what is the history behind that style? Well, while these may seem to be some minor details, it is still significant to know why the priest wears as he does for Mass in order to gain a better understanding and importance for the liturgy. And we will discuss it here in this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more upload. So, what is a vestment? Vestments are liturgical clothes and accessories linked predominantly with Christianity, particularly among Eastern Orthodox, Catholics, both Western and Eastern churches, Anglicans, and Lutherans. Nagmula ito sa salitang vestir, na ang ibig sabihin ay cloth at ang Latin suffix na mentum, at dito nabuo ang vestimentum. Officers and leaders in the early Christian churches, like their congregations, wore the typical clothes of civil life in the Greco-Roman world, with the expectation that the attire should be clean and pure during holy observances. However, beginning in the 4th century, modifications began to be made to the form of the garments. As secular trends evolved in the 6th century, the church maintained the original forms of their clothes, but with the separate development and regional variations. In other words, as time progressed, liturgical vestments became distinct from secular clothing and maintained their significant symbolic and theological purposes. Ang mga kulay ng liturgical vestments ay ang mga specific colors na ginagamit bilang damit sa loob ng konteksto ng Christian liturgy. There are four liturgical colors used that were coded by Paul IV in the Roman Rite in 1969. White, green, red, and purple. Bukod sa mga ito, mayroon ding iba pang mga kulay tulad ng pink, light blue, gold, and black na ginagamit lamang sa ilang mga espesyal na okasyon o bilang kahalili sa mga canonical na kulay. These colors are usually a reflection of the time of year it is in the church's calendar and to highlight different spiritual truths. Sa ganoong paraan, kapag may dumalo sa misa, ay agad nila makikilala ang kulay at may ugnay ito sa panahon o araw na ipinagdiriwang. First off, we have the white. White represents joy, holiness, purity, cleanliness, and righteousness. It is one of the most usual colors in liturgical vestments that are used by priests daily regardless of the current liturgical celebration or season. White is worn during the joyful seasons of Easter and Christmas, on feasts of our Lord not connected to His Passion and Death, on feasts of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and on feasts of angels and saints who did not shed their blood for the Christian faith. Green It is a symbol of hope perseverance, and continued listening. It accompanies priests and the faithful who turn to them on a daily basis, a color associated with the spring and used to represent new life and regeneration. It is meant to express the anticipation and hope in Christ's resurrection. It is worn during Sundays and ferias in ordinary time. The color purple is linked to penance, preparation, sacrifice, and mourning. It is particularly used 
during Advent in Lent. It is also worn at funerals because of its connection to mourning. Purple vestments are used to remind the funeral goers to pray for the penance and absolution of the departed. Red is symbolic of passion and blood. It is worn during the feasts of the martyrs who shed their red blood for Christ. Palm Sunday, Good Friday, Pentecost, in the celebrations dedicated to the Passion of the Lord, in the feasts of the Apostles, the Evangelists, and the Holy Martyrs. The Cardinals wear red as a symbol for their devotion to the Church and the Pope. It is to represent the blood that they would shed for Christ and the Church. As for non-codified colors, blue is used especially for celebrations in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, mostly in Spanish or Portuguese culture. Pink, which indicates joy and solemnity, for the third Sunday of Advent and the fourth Sunday Lent. Black, for All Souls Day and Mass of the Dead. And finally, gold symbolizes royalty and can replace all colors at every opportunity, although it is normally reserved for very important solemnities. Sana marami kayong natutunan at kung nagustuhan niyo ang video na ito, pakilaik lamang at pakilagyan na rin ng comment patungkol sa inyong saloobin at mga katanungan. Maraming salamat at hanggang sa muli!